Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna go over my 10 most carried knives all throughout April. I would also love to know down in the comments what did you carry the most during the month of April. I love seeing y'all carries. I read every single one of them. Before we even get started on the list, we're going to go through my dedicated fifth pocket carry knives. The first in the rotation is the Griffin Co. Scout F2. <laughs> Such a cool little knife. And then the next was my CJRB Premium Mini Pyrite in S90V steel with the fat carbon inlays. Yeah, this is an excellent little utility style folder. And then as far as budgeting goes, I love, love this little Kaiser Banish. Mine has such a snappy action to it. And if you like front flippers, this one rockets out. At least mine does. Black canvas micarta with that 154C on blade. Love this little guy. I decided not to add any of my EDC fixed blades because I was rotating out quite a few. So I'll do a dedicated most carried EDC fixed blades over the last couple of months if that's something y'all are interested in seeing. Now let's get into the top 10. I'm gonna warn y'all now, this is a Vosti deep list. I think the first four knives on this list are all Vosteeds. First up, we have the Vosteed Ankylo. This is their first Kickstarter campaign knife and Man, oh man, I used and abused this knife. This lock, the Vanker lock, I think they're calling it. I thought it was V-Anker lock, but v Vanker lock is something nice and something tough. Absolutely love it, and it's evidently super popular for them on Kickstarter. They reached their campaign goal, I think, in 30 minutes. So that is excellent. And if you haven't got in on this, you still have time. I think they have six days left on this. And anything that you see in this video, if I have a link for it, I will have it down in the description. Aluminum scales, LMAX, the pivot lock, very fidgety. Got the front flipper, that blade hole, and the back flipper. Comfortable where it goes, choke up on it. Deep carry pocket clip. Yeah, very cool knife. Two, the recently reviewed Volsteed Hedgehog. This is a more medium to smaller knife with micarta scales that frag. And man, this type of flipper works just outstanding, especially you can see how far it is up above the pivot right there. It rockets out. Love that blade shape. And this one's an S35VN. You didn't see my review and testing of this one. Go check that out. Oof. Action. It's a top liner lock. Pretty much like the same as a Spider Coast Mock. Hedgehog, yep. Been seeing a lot of pocket time. Went on a small trip with us not too long ago. And I carried it every day I was there. Excellent utility blade shape. Overall, just mm, you can reverse flick off those fullers if you like. Or you can thumb flick off the thumb studs. Or you can open it with the top liner lock. Super smooth. Has made its way back in my pocket. And that is the Volsti Dotson. I didn't connect with it at first. Sharpen it up and then bam. Love the knife. It, I just like how streamlined it is. It, it carries really, really well in the pocket. It has a front flipper and it has a crossbar lock. So the first three Volstis I showed you each had different locking systems. And <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Volstis just been killing it this year. Got a mill tie clip. The action is excellent. Excellent utility blade shape. Uh, these are an M390. Super smooth action. Perfectly tuned crossbar lock action. Love it. This one also saw a lot of pocket time on our little trip we took recently. I've been rotating ever since these came in. The last Volsteed on this list, the Volsteed Psyop. Brand new model, the collaboration with Tough Knives. I just started the testing on these two. This one right here is the Contour Titanium, and this one is the flat scaled with the diamond textured milled in there. L Max Blade, absolutely stunning. Top liner lock, stupid smooth on both of these. Yeah. Front flipper, if you like that, it works great. But my favorite is that blade hole. And you can choke up. And then this little spot right here is perfect. That is so comfortable right there. So yeah, stay tuned for this review. I think these are still available. Yeah, this could become my favorite Volsteed. We'll see. I hadn't done the review on this one yet, but I gotta say I've been impressed so far. This is a new knife company, Vanguard Knives. Owner of PMP Knives started a Vanguard Knives as well, so it could have more EDC friendly knives. You know, a lot of the PMP knives are beastly knives, which I love those too. But this is their first design, the Cheetah. 
And I, I have to say, the build quality on this thing has really, really been impressive. You got a beautiful, looks like a hand rub satin, but it's like just a brush rub satin. I don't know how they're, done. I'm sure it's done on a machine. You have beautiful crown spine there. Something that I love seeing, the lock relief on this is done on the inside, so you don't have to worry about getting hung up in there with your pocket clip. And look how clean it looks. Now they went with a full length backspacer. I think it's to be able to bury this drop point blade deeper into the handle. Excellent action. So far, good with the ergos. Beautiful. Look at that. Smooth action. It was like that almost out of box. It's like a very controlled drop, but it's nice. My review of this should be dropping pretty soon. This review dropped a couple of days ago. Asher Knives Spiro Warney with that absolutely stunning silver twill carbon fiber contoured. The action. Man, this, this thing has such a crisp break on the detent. Very well tuned detent, love it. Performs excellent, excellent utility blade shape, S90V steel. This is like 135 bucks. That is insane for what you're getting here. The unboxing for this didn't pop up yet, I don't think. And that is coming from American Blade Works. Look at this. This is the Model 1 button lock. And I gotta say, I am very, very impressed. Look at that beautiful micro milling that goes into the fat carbon inlay. I think that's fat carbon. One of the carbons. Reversible pocket clip. This pocket clip, outstanding. I remember me and him talked about whenever he did it on the Model 1 V2 or 3. He had this pocket clip, but it was super stiff. And I was telling him what I did to it to make it better. And he did it on this. And I mean, I'll, I'm not going to take credit because he, he, he might have been thinking about it. But he put it like a relief cut underneath the pocket clip right there. So now it goes in and out of the pocket beautifully. Made in the USA. Magna cut. Watch this action. Ooh. It's got the step mill blade, which I like. And boy, you can just feel how thin, thinly ground this thing is. I cannot wait to do the testing on this one. Super lightweight, because this time it doesn't have liners, like on the Model 2. And they're heavily skeletonized. Super smooth, beautiful. Stay tuned for this review. Next up, we have my Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight Salt Edition with the Magna Cut Blade and these beautiful, beautiful aftermarket Original Goat Aluminum Scales. Yeah, it just transformed this lightweight. Being that the new lightweights are not pin construction, you can change them out. And Original Goat makes scales for them now i'm already putting in an order for a second set for my uh blade hq edition one yeah love love me some original goat scales and if you're interested in getting a set of scales they have plenty of different scale options usually you gotta lead time on them but it's worth the wait i promise you that i do have a discount code but i think it's 15 percent off i'll try to put it on the screen but look at that and then this is a razor edge knives milled clip. One of the best clips in the game. I've been enjoying the Magna Cut, holding up really, really well. So number nine, we have the Wii Knives Cubit. I love the Civivi Cubit, and I did not think this one would impress me any more than that one. But man, I love it. <laughs> So I went with the flame tie scales. They have one with like a bead blast and like a satin blade, mill tie clip, and tie hardware. The action, I did not expect it to be better than the Civivi Cubic because that action's great, but boy. Yeah, it's on the border of being strong or too strong, but, but it's perfect. And that sound that reverberates through the titanium because it's skeletonized, it just, ugh. And not to mention, it still has the same slicey blade. This one's in 20 CV, and it's been holding up well. I've dropped it up the other day, and it's still sharp. I, I'm gonna sharpen it up once I dull it out. But Cardboard Destroyer, winner right here. Love the weak Cubit. You know, now if you already have the Civivi one, do I recommend getting this one? Eh, not really. But if you don't have a, a Cubit at all and you want a premium one, this is definitely the way to go. And last is a Kaiser. I just love it. Once again, the Kaiser Drop Bear with the Nebula Fat Carbon 
and the DLC S45 VN Blade. And uh, just look at this, peeps. Y'all, I mean, if you watched the review, you saw how much I tortured this finish, and it still looks great. And I've been using it constantly because I sharpened it up after that video. And something about a nice crisp edge. I want to use it a lot. And uh, it's been getting tons of use, and you still cannot see a single mark on this blade. Impressive. Clutch lock, super smooth and tough. Mill tie clip. Yeah, what's there not to love about this knife? This is this is definitely, right as of now, my favorite Kaiser Drop Bear. I absolutely love the Drop Bear. I got several of them. But this one is definitely my favorite. That S45 held up excellent in my testing. And it sharpened up very nicely as well. Love that long road jumping versatile blade there. Overall, an outstanding package. Any of the drop bears, but this one is just my favorite. We got an honorable mention. It's not my knife, so that's why it's not on the list. Like, you know, for carrying it. But I have been carrying it because I will be reviewing this one in the next couple of days. And that is the brand new Knife Standards RR3. Love how that buries into the handle like that. I like the deep chamfers with the orange peel. Fat carbon inlays. Just a touch of carbon just to give you a little bit of color. That square pivot. That beautiful drop point blade. Look at that satin finish. Full flat. Yeah, stay tuned for my review and testing. He did say I could test this one. It's in Vanex, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's what he said. I have to look back at his message, but I'm pretty sure he said it's in Vanex. I started it the other day. I got to finish it up. I've been trying to play catch up with, with everything right now. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, if any of these interest you, if they are available, we'll have them linked down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.